For decades, cars weren't transportation. They were coffins on wheels. In the early 1900s, automobiles were exploding onto American roads. Fast, loud, thrilling, and deadly. There were no airbags, no steel frames, and absolutely no seat belts. When crashes happened, drivers were thrown like ragdolls. Windshields shattered. Bodies flew. Deaths skyrocketed so fast that doctors began calling cars the new public executioner. Then in 1959, one engineer, Nils Bolin, a former aerospace designer, asked a simple question. What if a human body could be anchored? He created the three-point seatbelt, a single strap that locked the torso and hips in one motion. Simple, elegant, life-saving. At first, the public mocked it. Car companies resisted it. But within a decade, the death rate dropped dramatically. The seatbelt didn't just change automobiles. It saved millions of lives. A quiet invention born from chaos, tragedy, and the desperate need to keep humans inside the car when everything else went wrong.